tits in tech. Those are probably two words you don't hear as often, especially for my Rust developers. Am I right, fellas? Nah, I'm kidding. I really like crabs too. Don't worry. Anyway, so I'm not actually saying the word tits. I'm saying an acronym. T-I-T-S. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what that acronym stands for and why it's arguably one of the most important concepts if you want to become a better programmer. So make sure you click subscribe and like this video for more of my content. But without further ado, let's get in to some tits. So T-I-T-S stands for time in the saddle. Now, I don't take any credit for coining this term or this acronym. All the credit goes to the Primogen. Obviously, go check out his YouTube videos and his live stream. They're absolutely amazing. Big shout out to Prime. So what does time in the saddle mean? Well, it's actually more of an answer than it has a meaning on its own. An answer to what exactly, you may be asking yourself. It's an answer to the age old question in programming. Time in the saddle. Do you have any tips so I can be a better engineer? Time in the saddle. What can I do to write better code? Time in the saddle. Essentially, what this is saying is that there are no shortcuts to getting better at programming. You can watch all the YouTube crash courses, listen to all the podcasts, buy all the Udemy courses. Go ahead, go buy them. But you still won't get better at programming. At the end of the day, all of that means nothing. All you need to do is spend time programming, coding to get better, putting time in the saddle, putting more hours into your craft. That's the key right there, spending time on X. And you define what X is, it could be whatever you want. We're talking about programming here, but if you wanna be a better chef, you can only get better by cooking, by making new dishes. If you wanna be a swimmer, the only way to get better at swimming is by swimming. No matter how many times you watch videos of swimming, anything you read about swimming, if you're not swimming in the pool, you're not getting better as a swimmer. And the same applies for programming. And if any of these tech gurus, you know, these shamans, you know, shout out Ty Lopez, try to sell you on a course that'll make you a better engineer or learn how to program in three hours with this YouTube video, all of that is nonsense. Throw that out. Save yourself the time and money. There's one more thing I want to discuss here called the silver dollar syndrome, which I'll further go into detail in a future video. But why I bring it up here is because if you're going to dedicate yourself to it, truly dedicate yourself to it. There is a difference between spending 10 hours on something that you're absolutely committed and focused on versus spending 10 hours on three to four things that you're kind of half-ass, loosey-goosey paying attention to. The quality of the hours matter. And what you want to do and how good you get at something solely depends on your commitment and effort to that thing. As baffling as this acronym is, I truly, truly believe it is one of the most important things to understand in the journey of how to become a better programmer. Stop believing in shortcuts. Stop hoping for the easy path. Stop thinking you're gonna get lucky and everything's just gonna fall into your lap. Saddle up, put the time in, start the grind, fall in love with the grind. Look for ways to make it even harder for yourself. Look for the path that you're gonna have to spend an extra bit of time on because the more time you spend on something, the better you will get at it. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button and like this video. It's been a huge help lately. I think the community has really been enjoying this content. I really love making it, but I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, get tits.